What happens if you face Platinum Pool a couple more times? It looks like the Samsung issues are not being addressed and Seaton talks about the state of the game, which leads to a massive feedback on the forum. Yes, hello everybody, welcome to your Friday, very special edition of Marvel Contest of Champions News, and this will be diving into, obviously, this big thing at the moment uh, with Burnout and obviously Seaton and as well just general game feedback, but as well we've got a few little stories that we're going to be addressing as normal. And just before we get into today's news, I want to give a massive thank you, as I always do, to my current Patreons, my YouTube members, and as well, those that are Twitch subs. And if you do have an Amazon Prime account and want to give a free Twitch sub, you can do by following the on-screen instructions, and as well, going to their links in the description. Obviously, it doesn't have to be to me, and as well, you know, it's just a case it massively supports me out as a creator, so thank you very much to all those that do indeed do that. And as well, a massive thank you goes out to you, person watching this video, that is viewing, constantly supporting this channel, hitting the like button, subscribing with post notifications on all and commenting down below. Those all massively help out the channel and obviously I'll be down to chat with some of you in the comment section of the Marvel Contest of Champions news for today. But without further ado, let's get into this news. First thing up and it's nothing short of disappointing to learn that Kabam still haven't addressed loading issues, logging out problems and other things associated with Android devices and in particular the Samsung and A70 lines as you can see here only a few days ago that something was posted but it's still continuing on and on and on and on and on. We cover the plight of many players that actually play with a Samsung based device and as well Android devices in general. I'm not saying this is the be all and end all when it comes to coverage and yes okay there are other devices that are dramatically affected with optimal optimization issues when it comes to Marvel Contest of Champions. M actually has a device that's a Samsung and I'll tell you what it was released last year it could even be an A70 but the fact is it doesn't run the game as smoothly as anyone would like. Blocks do not work, connections are rubbish and so many other things as well. Intercepts you cannot do them you take such a risk if you do that. So Kabam, if you are watching, take a look into this because there are people really suffering with buying this device and obviously why should this be a limitation to the way they experience the game. Also in other news, it looks like they're going to be changing defense tactic flow. They've changed Siphon recently. Obviously Kabam, in their attempt to put in these defense tactics and spice up the uh, whatever is dead uh, Alliance War Seasons is obviously changing the tactics. Putting them in first off was a bad idea. And obviously it looks like it's uh, continuing the same thing. Alliance War Seasons. Why do we do it again? Next up, and Platinum Pool is uh, up to his old tricks, I think. Anyway, uh, so if you face up against multiple times, you'll see a bunch of different messages. Shout out to uh, my Alliance Odin for this one, sending me through all this uh, info. Uh, so we've got some here. What up, do we bet that wasn't the like the breezy fight you, we had before, huh? I saw you and your champion sweat when I showed up. And I didn't blame you. I'm a lot of man. So much man you need to break me into pieces just to handle me. Oh, that's a lot of man. I let you win that one, so don't go thinking you're all that just yet. Kisses, and then you've got uh, this one. Hello, Scrub. Nice 5v1 back there. I figured you'd be up to your usual shenanigans, so I didn't even really try. If I could split myself into five, I'd give you the fair fight. You never seem to be interested in. You're good, but I'm better. No, you're not. I'll see you in riffs. Anyway, uh, you've proven yourself uh, strength, blah, 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 blah. That's right time offer. Just admit that I'm better fit fighter and I consider, yeah. So there's a lot of different kind of random messages that seem to pop up. Definitely three different ones there. And I'm sure there's a lot more as you face off against him in the future. So obviously, Kabama doing that as a thing. It's fun, I guess. I guess this is just an added extra to riffs. A lot of people asking about any kind of like uh, follow-up content. I think we're really missing a variant five uh, last month and definitely this month. Okay, now on to our biggest story. Now, as you know, Seaton put out a video yesterday which kind of addressed a lot of his feelings towards the game. Although he kind of put it was about, you know, being alliance free, but from the best part of it, it's actually a, a video about the state of the game. And especially from a perspective of looking at, obviously, of a, a person that has done everything, someone who is obviously a whale, but mainly somebody that is becoming a bit board of the game. Obviously this was a very strange day, especially if you consider that prior to the video being released everyone seemed to be happy and fine with the game, but obviously after the point of video being released it seemed that everybody just said, oh I feel differently about this game. 
And obviously leading a charge with so much influence can have a positive effect and as well a negative effect. Now in the last couple of years, Kabam have really developed the game more for the skill based and high end community, especially with obviously a lot of the new content, except when it comes to variants. Variants seem to be the best content they've put out. And yes, as well, I do agree with what Seaton does say about incursions. It was a great opportunity to put it in, but as well, it doesn't really lead to anything like a, a competition, a leaderboard, any kind of thing that would make a tournament fun. And something that we have talked about in a contest realm podcast is the idea of maybe you could create it in some sort of kind of like esport type thing. Not exactly, but still something could be in there. Ian re-emphasizes the point about Act 6 and as well this kind of like end game content and its creation. When Kabam are creating content, it is difficult to understand where the thought process it is, especially from a rewards perspective and as well from a build quality and what they're and how they're building it to the community and obviously with all these terrible champions that one is to pull and as well these older champions that don't get buffed quite so much. You just end up to a point going, oh, I've got a load of terrible champions. Now, how am I possibly going to get through a gating system in Act 6.2, which let's face it, is absolutely disgusting. Also 6.1.5, 6.1.6, those are pretty disgusting as well to a degree. More so with 6.1.6 uh, and obviously a little bit less with 6.1.5. However though, moving on to things at 6.3, uh, it's it's hit and miss. There's some alright fights in there, it's pretty fun, but the best part of 6.4 is obviously for a lot of players is the Grandmaster fight. And first experience with that one, I didn't really do as well as I should have done, but obviously in hindsight and obviously playing it for the first time myself, I'll be able to go back in next time and hopefully do a lot better. However, though, the biggest thing that I really want to question is where do Kabam judge the beta testing on how they should make the game for the future, especially as well with the reward side of things, because they seem to miss the point when it comes to like where the player base is at and the community is at with what we'd like to see against say where they're progressing things and as well you look at stuff where like uh, you know at the end of six point uh, act five that you had six star shards and at the end of act six you don't have seven star shards so obviously seeing where the game's progressing from point a to point b stimulating new rosters and having the ability to actually get decent champions to as, as well go through this terrible gating system very spe champion specific content you know we have to be left with a point just going like is this is this good one of the big things mentioned in this video is that Seton is basically going alliance free to a degree he's actually going on a lower paced alliance or uh, own created alliance obviously to run some uh, lower end maps and that is something a lot of players have done in the past. With Cam with the podcast of champions actually considering the same thing, Captain Bay has been doing exactly the same thing for the last two months. As well as myself, I've been Alliance Free for the last month and obviously that was to try and get some end game content done in order to catch up with everybody else. Now being Alliance Free or being lower end alliances is nothing new. Lots of players have been doing it. You know, you've got the likes of the Analyzer who was kicked from a top end alliance who then just went, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm sick of this. So therefore went and, went and joined uh, Sammy. Pastor Sammy set up this alliance where he was in like top tier alliances but obviously was then going like, you know what, this isn't worth my quality of life. So then dropped back and obviously created his uh, Sami Alliance or Past Alliance, I can't remember, one of the two. Either way, that alliance obviously caters for a lot of people with the Analyzer and as well as Katie Candy joining their ranks and as well as other YouTubers over time. So it's important to identify that when you're not enjoying this kind of like, I've got to be active at this time, I've got to move on this path at this time, it takes the fun out of the game. And alliance-based participation, when you're doing exactly the same thing in a repetitive nature, does actually you know, do your head in and it gets boring. Apart from the fact the glory store is always being improved and ramped up, that's the only positive out of being in an alliance. And the camaraderie, you know, the camaraderie is the best thing. Chats with people, making friends, and obviously those that have come out in respect of people that have sadly passed away recently just shows the solidarity not just from alliances but also from a community standpoint so obviously that's every that's the reason obviously everybody's allied around this cause about burnout and obviously the state of affairs with the game one other thing Seton does is talk about the future of Marvel Contest of Champions the future of what Kabam has to hold and that is when things start getting a little bit more spicier and as well we see this forum post created 
Now, just before we get into that forum post, something that I do want to go over is the Act 7 beta. Yes, it's because it's always about the future of the game, as we just said. And the future of the game, and obviously a few days before that video by C-Team was posted, everybody was still coming to the conclusion that if this is the way that the game is going, then is this going to be enjoyable for those that when even you do a block, that you take substantial damage through said block or through said parry, whatever. The fact is, the game hasn't really evolved when it comes to mastery builds and levels going up. So having more mastery points and, and more things going in. Say for example, okay, so content gets higher, more difficult. Mastery points and as well as the level cap does not increase. So therefore you can add things like saying a new mastery. A new mastery being something like uh, block proficiency is heavily increased, but you can't access that until level 65, so, so to speak. And that would be a better way to see that actually progress. But it's never going to be there and that's the problem isn't it as people get more experienced and increase the levels it's a case that you actually have to increase your skill and that's the problem as well when people start off playing this game and i think a lot of reasons why people have turned off is because it has become more skill based it's not about collecting champions and and sort of like playing sort of skilled like and fighting and having fun it's been now about you have to be more skilled at the game in order to say that i don't know something because like it's not a case you go, oh, you're the best because you're skilled or you're the best because you have the most champions. It's, it's just a, it's, it's just changed. The game has dramatically changed from where it started off to where it is now. It does actually feel like a completely different game to a degree. Everything kind of erupted yesterday and obviously you can see this general game feedback which is now up to 22,300 22, views and as well uh, we're approaching 630 comments. I don't know how many people are like, you know, it's um, just like the users or responses. The fact is it has got a lot of traction. At this point I welcome you to get some buttery popcorn, make yourself comfortable, pour a drink because uh, the Godfather, Richard Man, is going to be reading for you the Kaban Mike statement. Hey everybody, thanks for your feedback. Please remember to keep your conversation civil though. Any attacks on each other or volatile comments will be deleted. As an open forum, disagreements will occur, but that doesn't give license to break the forum rules. As for the subject at hand, everybody is welcome to their own opinion. And there's a lot of great feedback in that video and in your responses. Building new content in this game is not easy, nor is it quick. We're always looking at what you guys have to say and where possible. We plan it into our roadmap, roadmaps down the line. We planned for giving you guys a glimpse of what on, what's on the horizon in a week or two, but I can see about moving that up. We're always working to come up with new and interesting things for you all to do in game and deliver a constant stream of new content every month. We're also always looking as at always we can improve the existing content for everybody. We've worked on a bunch of quality of life stuff, some of which has already come out and some of which coming pretty soon. Battle group assignment at last. Ooh. Less than a month ago, we launched Incursions, uh, one of the craziest, most ambitious projects that we'd ever undertaken. That took eight to 10 months from a concept to release, depending on when we decide the start of that concept phase is. The reaction to that was great and it's motivated us to look around for other planning, building, testing, etc. Takes a lot of time. It also takes a specific set of skills. <laughs> oh God. Um, <laughs> sorry, taken reference. Uh, we can ask one of, the one of our designers to build a game mode no less than we could ask a member of the community team to model and texture a new champion. I wish we could move faster, but we can't. It's physically impossible and even more difficult given the current world situation. I see a lot of conversation about book two, act one, chapter one, act seven, and one of our quest designers will be making a post for our beta testers on the feedback for, so far in a day or two, but Act 7 has already seen changes made to it while still in beta. We've reduced the attack boost twice, and that's only by address uh, to address one pain point. We know there are others, and we appreciate all of the constructive feedback at, that we've received. The point of the beta test is to identify those pain points before the content is live in a test environment, so that we can improve the final product and have it in its best state, its best shape possible. 
Alliance Quest and Alliance Wars are two very important parts of the game. We know there are a lot of opinions about them and we sure as hell are not ignoring them. We just don't have anything to say on them at the time. You'll see an update to Alliance Quest in the next couple of months that includes an update to rewards, AQ modifiers and mini bosses. Alliance Wars will see a small refresh as soon as possible, but that doesn't mean we're not already thinking about our next big change. Just because we haven't made the specific changes you want doesn't mean that we haven't discussed or looked at the actual root cause. What the issue looks like on the surface isn't always what it is at the root. There's also so many of you with different priorities and concerns just look through this thread and see the spectrum of different ideas and asks. Many of them contradict each other and many have to appeal to somebody else. Even the video that was posted at the or, uh, on the original post comments are very different. Again, we welcome the feedback and we're going to discuss it. In fact, I'm going to make sure we discuss this all today. I probably won't have anything to come back with, but I can promise that I will make these points known. There's a lot of positive takeaways from this message and I do agree that it's difficult to do a one size fits all for the community, which when it comes to like what people want, as, as a lot of you know, if you follow the channel, I don't like Alliance Wars seasons. I don't like Alliance Wars in general. I'm not a massive fan of Alliance Quest. Some of the end game content I've been hit or miss with, so a lot of Act 6. I hate Variant 1. I, I don't agree with Variants for one star um, issue because obviously there's a lot of players that maybe sold their one stars but didn't know they'd need them further down the line and have to pay units in order to get more of them to get through the content and as well obviously the first part of variant 4 when it comes to the first two fights are a bit scuffy uh, not to mention a whole lot of different things like I think I said variant 1 and like a few other things as well a lot of things being very champion specific the utilization of bad champions which variants do but obviously we haven't seen many variants this year when we seem to have more of a consistent rollout which I'd actually prefer as opposed to Act 6, Abyss of Legends, and anything else. But again, that's my opinion, and people will differ from that. You're allowed to differ. But obviously, it's difficult for Kabam to go, do you know what? Oh, today I'm going to make a Variant 5 for Rich the Man, because that's what I need to do. So yeah, I do get that, and obviously the same thing when I do YouTube. Like, I see loads of comments saying, you should deliver this in this style, this in this style. And it's like, well, do I do it for this person? Do I not do it for this person? They, that person liked it, but that person didn't you know so you will end up contradicting yourself from where where's the focus where do you focus your attention and obviously you go with like okay if the biggest voices or not the biggest voices but the biggest collection of voices in the community say something you go down that route you don't just go down the other route so it's a difficult one i do i do understand that but look, let's face it, there's a lot of mistakes Kabam have made, but they haven't really changed anything from mistakes. And yes, okay, they talk about the idea of changing stuff like in Act 7 as it's going on, and as well quality of life changes that are coming in. But Act 6 hasn't been changed, the gating system hasn't been removed from that content, Variant 1 hasn't been changed to be more fairer, and as well you haven't seen the change in uh, the availability of 1 stars being very um, low spend for those uh, that have you know sold the champions back in 2015 when they first got the game, and then obviously kind of didn't realise that 5 years later that they're going to need those champions again. So there's a lot of things that haven't been changed as a result of mistakes Kabam have made. Seeing Without Doubt is the biggest Marvel Contest of Champions channel out there. So obviously whatever decision he makes, whether or not he sticks to an alliance, whether he decides to quit the game will have repercussions for, say, the interest of many players and as well those that to avidly follow him. The same thing could be said if Dr. Disrespect leaves uh, Call of Duty player unknown battleground valorant even on screen at the moment and if like tifu were to leave fortnite i guess my final thoughts on the matter and my opinions on this is that i do agree with a lot of things that seaton says but obviously do bear in mind i myself and as well as many others within the community have been saying similar things for a long time not from somebody who's uh, top alliance uh, has completed all content there's some aspects in his video that I, I don't really relate to especially from a tier 5 class catalyst and, and you know having the influence and the interest to actually kind of do look I need to rank 3 a 6 star but obviously the main things is that it does seem that Seaton has kind of like just just had a little bit of a bit of a kind of a burnout from the game and obviously it will be a case he'll probably take about a month in being in a low alliance and I suspect he'll be back smashing it being in a top alliance uh, before people know it
I think this is just a, a good opportunity to spark up a lot of conversation about maybe some frustrations, especially with new titles coming into the world like Marvel Future Revolutions, Marvel Realm of Champions, and not to mention a few other games that are coming out fairly soon, which should obviously be a eye-opener for Kabam to make sure that they're making the best game possible and obviously listening to people before these new titles come out and interests could be peaked in different directions. But obviously for the time being, I'm chilling and enjoying the game as much as I like at the pace that I like and I'm sure a lot of players are as well. Make sure to check out some other content here. Make sure to come across the Twitch tv slash rich the man live for a stream later on check out rich's realm because we're going to post a marvel realm related video and uh have your thoughts in the comment section down below see you soon bye bye